Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating a number of ways to fix the problem of no operating system found in Windows, be it Windows 10, 8 or 7. Now, depending on the make and model of your laptop, this error message could be a bit different for you. For most laptops, it would say no operating system found. For some, it would say no bootable device found or no boot device found. And yet for others like this Lenovo L530, you will just find a boot menu screen like this with different boot devices. And no matter what boot device you choose, it won't boot into Windows. Now there are several possible reasons why you may be having this problem, ranging from hardware to software related issues. But before we get into the possible solutions to this problem, I will advise that you follow these suggestions in the order which they are presented, to avoid any further complications to your computer. And with that said, let's jump right into it. Okay, so the first possible cause of this problem and the first thing you should check out for is loose connection between your hard disk and the motherboard. This is completely physical and could happen due to some vibrations or shock. Needless to say that no matter what software solutions you try to implement, if this is the issue and it's not resolved, then nothing would work. And that is why you should start off with this suggestion. Now you will need to figure out where your hard disk is located. For most laptops, it is readily accessible from the back cover underneath. Others are more difficult to access, especially if they are underneath the keyboard. I will add here that if your hard disk is that difficult to access, then maybe you can try out the other suggestions first before taking the extra pain to locate your hard disk. So here all I need to do is to reattach my hard disk more firmly to the connector. Couple back the laptop and try to boot it up again. Now if that doesn't resolve the problem, then the next thing you want to check is your boot priority order. Normally you should have your hard disk at the top of the priority order so your BIOS doesn't try to boot into some other devices or disk where there are no operating systems. To check the boot priority order, first turn off your laptop, then check from some other device, maybe your mobile phone or some other laptop for the keyboard combination or the key that is required to get into your BIOS. That could be F2 or F12 or combination of escape and some other function key. So here I assume you know the key you need to boot into your BIOS. Now power on your laptop and immediately keep pressing the key until you see your BIOS page pop up. It should look something like this or maybe more different interface. Now from the BIOS, try to find where it says boot or boot order or boot priority, something in that line. Now some BIOS would have it under the advanced settings or system configurations. Just check around and see where yours is located. For this laptop, it's right on the top menu here. So I will navigate to it. Here I have my boot devices and as you can see, any USB device attached to this laptop will try to boot up first before my hard disk. That needs to change except I'm trying to run some installation from a USB but that's not the case here. To change this order, the BIOS gives a clue here that's F5 and F6. F6 takes devices up while F5 brings them down. So with the arrow key, I will move to my hard drive where it says HDD slash SSD. Then use the F6 key to take it to the top of the boot order. After that, hit F10 to save changes and then select yes to complete the process. Now, if this is the problem in your case, then upon restarting, it should boot you back into Windows. If that still doesn't resolve the issue, then you can move to the next suggestion. For this fix, I'll be toggling between the UEFI and the legacy or CSM boot mode from the BIOS. Now, I won't be going into much details about what these terms mean. I'll be covering that in a separate video where I'll also be explaining how to check which mode your hard disk requires. And depending on when you are watching, I'll be adding the link to this other video down in the description. So if you have the boot mode set to the format that is not supported by your hard disk, then it won't boot up even though you have a functional Windows operating system on it. Now for most people, you may not know for sure which format your hard disk is configured to. So the logical fix would be to change your current boot mode to the other mode and try to see if that resolves the issue. To change your boot mode, you will need to get back into your BIOS. Now again, this might be placed under some other menu, so you will need to check out and see where yours is located. For this Lenovo, it's under the Startup tab. Here you will see where it says UEFI slash Legacy Boot. Here, as you can see, mine is set to Legacy only, so I will use the arrow key to navigate to it. 
hit enter to reveal the possible options and again use the arrow key to select my preferred mode now as you see here some laptops will give you the option of selecting both boot modes so if you're unsure of your disk format then this is the option to choose But if you don't have the boot option, like the case with this Toshiba, then just select another boot mode other than your initial boot mode. Now remember to save changes using F10 and then try to boot up again and see if that resolves the issue. If not, then the last suggestion for this video will require that you have a bootable USB with Windows installation file stored in it. If you are yet to make one, you can follow the step-by-step -step procedure I showed in this video on how to do that. I will leave a link down in the video description. So attach your bootable USB with Windows and boot into it. Wait for the installation files to load. On this window, hit next. Then on the page that follows, select repair your computer. Here select troubleshoot and then command prompt. A terminal like this should pop up. Here type in the command, disk part as shown on the screen and hit enter. Next type list volume and hit enter. Now that should show the different volumes you have currently attached to your laptop. Normally the volume with your window should have the letter C, which is volume 1 in my case. Another way to verify the volume with your windows is to check the sizes of the different volumes. Normally it should be the largest volume except you have configured it otherwise. Volume 1 is the volume with my windows, it's about 60 GB. Here I'm working on a virtual machine. On normal Windows PC, this should be close to the size of your hard disk. Except if you've done some disk partitioning, then the volume with your Windows would be the size of the partition where you chose to install your Windows. So now that I'm sure that volume 1 is the volume with my Windows, I'll go ahead and type select volume 1 and hit enter. Next, type the command active as shown on the screen and hit enter. Then type in assign and hit enter. Next type exit and hit enter to close disk part. Then finally type exit again to close the command line. And that should bring you back to this page. From here you can turn off your PC, remove the bootable USB and try to boot into Windows again. Hope one of this was able to help you out. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. Share with anyone you think might want to see. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.